We're evaluating the uh, performance of an investment center manager. And you'll recall that an investment center manager has responsibility not only for uh, the revenue and expenses, but also resources of a business. And they're responsible not only for achieving operating objectives, but also tactical and strategic objectives. So in recent years, we kind of decided that using ROI was not really looking at all the things the manager had control of. And that residual income really didn't look at what that manager was doing as far as taxes were concerned or the cost of borrowing money. So a new measure came on the scene. And this new measure is called EVA, or Economic Value Added. And EVA is similar to residual income, but it also makes that manager accountable for tax implications and also the cost of capital. In other words, the cost of the money or the cost of the resources that they're entrusted with. So how we compute EBA is as follows. We take the after-tax operating income and we subtract the cost of capital. In other words, how much does it cost to basically lend this, this uh, manager the resources to manage? And again, we're going to come out with a dollar amount. How much did they exceed our expectations? To put it more simply, we take the after-tax operating income minus the desired cost of capital. In other words, something we said at the beginning of the year, you know, like what's the interest rate? Or uh, it's a little bit more complicated than that. But for you and I, it would be how much would it cost you to borrow in order to have these assets in which to manage? Now, we'll take that cost of capital. And instead of multiplying it by total assets, we say, well, yes, you do have some current liabilities that you've got to, to meet. So what I want to do is take the cost of capital times my free resources. In other words, the resources not already spoken for as far as liabilities are concerned. So that's why we take total assets minus current liabilities to give us the resources available to make the difference. So let's see how that works. Again, we're going to problem P4 and the information given there. So in 2000X7, what is our after-tax operating income? Well, it's $28,710. And in requirement three, it tells me that the cost of capital that this business uh, believes is 8%. So we're going to take 8% times the assets at the end of the year, 163,900, minus the current liabilities at the end of the year, 10,000. So the difference between the assets and the current liabilities gives us the free resources that this manager has to make a difference. How much does it cost me to basically lend this manager these resources? 8%. Are they exceeding our expectations as far as their after-tax income? And they are. So the EVA comes out to be $16,398. Notice it's a dollar amount. And it's a dollar, did we, are, were, are we pleasantly pleased with this manager? Well, they exceeded our expectations. We could then, what? give them a bonus based upon their EVA. We could then also compare their contribution to the overall good of the company and their longevity of the company um, with other managers, couldn't we? Because these are their dollar contributions, that they exceeded performance. In 2008, if we were to do it again, uh, net income after tax or after tax operating income is 34650 Cost of capital, again, is 8%. Total uh, assets at the end of the year is 173900 Current liabilities at the end of the year is 13900 So if I do my math correctly, 
I get $21,850 is the value added by this manager's actions, or their EBA.